Good afternoon, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. It's the queen. Getting ready to make the soft lobster tacos and my lobster cones, okay? These will be used later, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side. If you did not catch, here is, I'm gonna use the country, the country crop to actually butter my pan for the soft tortillas, which is this brand that I use. I get it out of Walmart. I have crab claws. I have my green onions. I have fresh tomatoes. Fresh cilantro, which I love. And this is the meat for today. I get this meat out of Restaurant Depot. This is the only place I know that I can actually get this meat. This is the name of it if you want to look it up to see if you can purchase it anywhere in the United States. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. But this is the meat that we're going to use today. These two. And I did purchase both out of Restaurant Depot. I have shredded lettuce. My favorite cheese, which is pepper jack. I have my cream cheese. I have my ricotta cheese. And I have my nice garlic. You know, I always got to put me some parsley on them. It's presentation. We're going to use waffle cones. We're going to stuff lots of meat and cheese and some waffle cones. I'm going to bake it and put it in the oven to see how it turns out. This could be a number one setter. It also could be used probably as an appetizer if we're going to have a party or something. And we're going to also use sugar cones the stuff. They will be going in the oven. I have my oven. thought I had it on preheat, which I did not. 350, which is not going to take that long. So, what we're going to do first is make a cream to put at the bottom of the cones and the tacos. Okay? Like I said, I don't measure and I'm so sorry I will be measuring later once I start really putting my cookbook in production. <clears throat> So we're gonna use ricotta cheese. I get the Walmart brand, it doesn't matter to me, but I get Walmart products a lot of times. So we're gonna make the base cream that's gonna go with the lobster meat and the crab meat. So I always do my cream first. So basically using two spoons. Go ahead and cover that up. My mice garlic. So. Just enough. I'm a garlic person, so excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna cut up some cilantro, wash my hands. This enough, doesn't have to do that much. But this is all going in what I'm making, which is a sauce, basically which I make my own sauce. I don't like to get anything out of a jar. I'm gonna use a little bit of lime juice. This is my favorite kind of lime juice from Key West. Get it out of Walmart also. Just a little bit of lime. Almost like a Spanish thing, but the tacos have to have some type of sauce to me now. Ooh. Spicy, spicy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. So it's gonna look like this at first. I'm using a regular spoon to try to smooth it out. I need to purchase me a hand blender. I did have one and I don't know where it's at. 
So it's already spicy, so I am going to season it with a little bit of onion powder. Just a little bit. And my other favorite seasoning, Goya Red Top. A little bit of that. Sprinkle it on. And then I'm going to go again and mix it. I don't like my thin, thin at all, like watered down, I don't like it. So, so far we done added cream cheese, ricotta cheese, cilantro, jalapeno juice. I did not put any jalapenos inside, I just used the juice, okay? So, now we're going to cut up a little bit of green onion. That in there. Like I said, this could be something used as an appetizer. I even have a little appetizer spoons that I'm gonna get. We having a little party, a little gathering. And this is something that I've been thinking of to create and make. So first cilantro. Green onions, jalapeno juice, cream cheese, ricotta cheese, and my garlic. That's what's in here right now. Okay? So now I'm going to taste it and see how it tastes. It's good, okay? This is my first time actually baking this, believe it or not. I always like to try stuff different, but it's real good. It could be a little bit more spicy than this though. Okay, so now we're gonna start preparing the meat. That's gonna go in. Which is the lobster meat. Mm hmm? Huh? Yeah. So, should I do the waffle cones first or the tacos? Tacos. Okay. So, we're going to fry a tortilla. Anybody who wants to try it, I suggest you be on your way. Tiana, Kiana. Okay. So. First things first, we got to stop cooking everything on extreme high and wonder why our stuff be toasty and burnt like hell, okay? We're not going to do that today. So, I got my country crop. And I am going to... You want us to come over there? Yep. that going and I have well, how this going so I'm gonna do both of the meats at the same time get it over with so we got the cream we got this I'm gonna actually turn this off for a minute so I can actually start doing the meat First. So, I don't like to make a lot of stuff at one time, but this is how the lobster meat looks. It's very sweet. It's delicious. Oh, it's good. I promise you. Well, let me get some lump lump. Okay, so that's what we're going to need right now. That one. Label. Oh, okay. This is called Blue Treasure. I get this out of Restaurant Depot. And believe it or not, guys, it's $5.99 sometimes. Sometimes it's more. 
the um because this is the crab claw, not the lobster lump crab meat, which I use in my seafood rice. That's more, but I chose to get this one because I had it and it needed to be used. So, claw so. meat and put that in the. Gonna be the first batch, and like I said, we're gonna add the lettuce and tomato. Your preference, you need lettuce and tomato, Shay? Because you might not be the first batch. All right, so that's cooking, and of course, I'm gonna go ahead and season that. Boil your hand, got it everywhere. You don't want to over season it because you do have the cream filling that's going in there, also. Hot sauce, this is not my hot sauce of preference, but Texas Peach is okay next to Crystal's. Crystal's is number one. That. And I do have oil pockets in here. I have seasoning in both places. So, with my lobster meat, I'm going to add some more lime and my garlic. Not too much to overpower it. Now I'm actually going to put garlic in there. So I'm just going to cook it a little bit. I don't want to cook it too much because it is a taco and the lobster meat to me I want to be kind of raw. You can also, to me, if you want, you can, if you want it buttery, you can put butter in here. I'm not gonna put butter in here today, or I can do two demonstrations, but right now I just want it to cook a little bit. So now that the meat is cooking, it is on high, but it's going slow. Now I get to turn this back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wraps. Close this up. One more time with the crunchy crop. So once it's cooked, we're gonna put on a thing, which I'm gonna bring over here. This is my taco tray. So I can line them up. So as we wait, this is taking a long time. Yeah. You don't have to cook both sides. I only cook one side to get it kind of crisp and I just keep it going. So we have one, two, three slots. the cream ricotta cheese cream cheese cilantro mice garlic and green onions should i add crushed peppers give it a kick think i should yeah we could always give it a kick kick ass also gonna put a little bit can't have See, spice it up. Spice it. Name brand for what? As long as you know how to cook and put seasoning together, you're fine. Okay, here's my crushed red peppers. And as you can see, the tortilla, the tortilla is cooking, which you will know because of the simple fact that it starts bubbling up. Check it like this, but like I said, kind of crispy is better to me. 
So your taco won't be soggy or whatever. You want to kind of crisp because we're not using the hard taco. Okay, so I can see it's getting brown. On this side, over here, a little bit more. Now the next one that I do, I'm not going to add any butter to it, so it can cook kind of faster. And get this all mixed in. Boom. Mm, so this one, take it off. Boom. Mm, there you go. See? Next. Boom. Mm. So in the meantime, in between time, I got my daughter here. She's going to eat the first one. So do you want shredded lettuce? Mm -hmm. And I do have spinach. So which one you want? Shredded, shredded. lettuce? Okay. Tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Fresh tomatoes? Okay. So how many you want? One or two? One. Okay. So we're going to let this cook. I'm going to go ahead and get the shredded lettuce. I guess we want to do it over here. Okay more lighting I also have my son participating in the recording family affair so a little bit of lettuce a little bit that's it so she only wants that little bit okay so we're gonna time my meat off check on this tortilla bam this how I like mine. I'm not going to even lie. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. Now it does need to be greased again. But why is it greased again? I actually turned it down. Okay. So you want the cream on top or bottom? Top. So she has a little lettuce. See how simple and quick this is. Okay, they gotta watch me eat it. Yeah. Why? Wow. That's enough meat or you want mm -hmm. more? That's enough. You want that? You want more? Mm-mm. Okay. So she doesn't want any more. I'm gonna move this pot to the side for I saw a damn fire. Okay, so you ain't want a puppy dough cheese? Okay, so she wants cheese. We're gonna take this over here. So, before I put the cheese in, I'm gonna put my sauce that I made in first. Nice and simple. Can I get jalapenos on top? Look, it's going in the oven. Okay. See, Lee? Yeah, I'm a daredevil, and I hate that I put the lettuce on there first, but it's not going to go in there long just to melt the cheese. So, putting the cheese on, right? So, she can either eat this closed in or open okay okay so she wants me to close hers in and I can actually show y'all how to wrap a taco I just have to tell my kids so that's to make the meat and tell them they was on their own after that so you want jalapenos the jalapenos and the fresh tomatoes are going after yes. okay so in the meantime I like mine like this okay. I am going to put that could be the Dorito, that could be the taco. Okay. So, I'm putting my cheese at the bottom of mine. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and put me some meat on top of the cheese.
we got to make some more stuff anyway for the waffle cones. So I'm going to do an ice cream cone, which is a waffle cone, and I'm going to do a waffle bowl. Okay. So with me, put some more cheese. Put this first. Now I'm putting my sauce. More cheese. All right. So I put my green onions on top because I like mine real fresh, but these are going in the oven. So it looks like this. Now the key to me, when y'all be oh parsley, parsley, parsley brings your food out. Here point blank, it's part of a color. So I'll put this. You'll see when it come out. Okay, so I like to play double. That should be able to go in the oven without any problems. It doesn't have to go in there for a long period of time. We just Basically, put it in there to melt the cheese. That's it. Yeah. Y'all see that? See? Okay. And the oven it goes. Oh, it smells good. And I'm not just saying that because I'd be like, oh, I ain't. Oh, mine got the same to me, honey. That's how you know you done seasoned some food. My neighbors, not my neighbors, I'm sorry, my cousin. Oh, girl, we smell your food all the way down the street. So let me go ahead and bust open this cone, this waffle cone, and see how it look. Like I said, this is my first time using. So this is the first time for everybody watching. And I actually have a machine that makes these waffle bowls, but it makes it even bigger. And I, I can't get it right. So. I gotta keep dealing with it to um to get it to work. Okay, so you guys, do you see how they look? Oh, they're so cute! Look, looky, looky! Nice appetizers. See the size of them? These will be great appetizers. Okay. Great appetizers. So since we're finished with the tacos, I am going to. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I just got thrown off. Okay, I know I'm going to go ahead and make some more meat, and I'm going to use this pan. The reason why? Because we're stuffing. We're going to stuff two waffle cones, and we're going to stuff two ice cream cones. So, put my meat. Y'all see how the meat looks? It is delicious. I promise you. It's so good. So, so good. Mmm. See? Mm. See how quick this bag go? So, what I said, two cones and one. Okay. So. See how the meat looks? Pretty. Pretty, fresh, and it's so, so good. It's so good. Y'all know I'm gonna eat this big fat piece. Mm. <laughs> Go to like. Usually like my coochie. Okay. 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 I'm just playing, y'all. But it is just like cooked. Okay. The stretch, you can add this. Then, if I was thinking, I got some more lobster meat in the refrigerator, but they're in the freezer. So, I want this to be real lobstery or whatever. So, 
I'm actually gonna not put that much of the crab meat in there. No, put it in the taco. Okay, I'm gonna put them. Okay, so we're gonna take a look. Mm. Ooh, just a little bit more. Y'all should smell this. It smells so freaking good. It smells so good. See that? Okay. So we'll be taking them out in a few minutes. So I got this cooking even higher. So now with this, I want to add... She already just put her ass. Okay. So on this one, I'm gonna actually put butter. And I use salted butter. So I'm gonna let that sit in there. And I'm gonna cut up some purple onions, the cilantro. That and but first things first, I'm gonna take the tacos out before they burn. Up. Okay, so you want to put your first stuff on her now? Or you want to? Mm -hmm. No, you, we'll do it last. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that off. So, cutting up me some old fresh cilantro, green onion, purple cilantro, this is not so. This, believe it or not, what I'm making, the onions, the cilantro, the green onions, all I have to do, and if you, you can do it also, you can add a vinegar base. You can go ahead and do this. See how the butter's melting in? Because I'm thinking about it. I'm going to put it back. My friend, come over here. Well, see, the meat is almost finished, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it down. Okay, now back over here. But if I really wanted to... Oh, no, come on, come on. We can do two things, so I'm gonna cut up even more onions. Mmm, that's not good. It's not like something, mm. something to sell. I don't know what it is now.
Okay, this will be made two ways. Right? I'm wash my hands. I have to a little bit. Okay. So if I really wanted to, I can have a choice of different sauces. One, this will be wet. Okay. This is a bowl. So if I wanted to. This is how you make your own little seasoning. I can take a jalapeno. I mean the scotch bonnet pepper, I'm sorry. Cut this up also. You gotta cut this up real fine. I ate one the other day when I made the school turkey wings. And my day was messed up for two days. Woo! Ate it by mistake. So, put that in there. So, I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna put it in the pan, but I'm gonna also take some and put it in this bowl. And I'm gonna make like a, a seasoning, a dipping sauce, basically. I'm gonna do a little bit more on this. And this right here, I'm gonna take and put it in my pan. Y'all see the nice color? The reason why I put it in at the end is because at the same time, the vegetables are same, kind of crunchy and not soggy after the process that it's going to go through. So that's why I put my vegetables or something like this at the end. Okay. So with this right here, this little saucy sauce, if you like hot stuff or stuff with a kick, again, take the juice. Put it in here. That, what else I want to add? Tell me what it is. Oh, another Walmart brand. Red wine vinegar. Since I don't have the white vinegar, I'm using this. So, if you want the sauce, which is the supper that I call it, and like some type of new sauce, you can actually use this. It's going to be hot, it's going to give a kick, but it, trust me, it's going to be good. So, to speed up the process, some people put the hollow peels in. I don't, because the juice is more better to me than the actual peppers. Eating these is just straight juice. You already have to deal with the onions and everything else, okay? But it smells so good because of the cilantro. Okay, so we threw it all that, the meat, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the waffle cones, two little waffle cones, two little waffle cones, and then I'm going to use two ice cream cones. I just got to figure out how they are going to stand up in the oven. And I'll put them in there. Huh? Put them stand up. Oh, these, they, they gonna swallow that. They gonna swallow that. And they can't use those. Okay, so with the bowls, I'm gonna add pepper jack cheese at the bottom of both of them. smooth it around a little bit as y'all can see so this is how it looks first then we're going to get the lobster meat
right, so now, all this is later at the end. So, like this. See the colors? Presentation, once again, but these are so cute. Put that in there. Uh -huh. in the white plates that you got. Oh, okay. Once they come out the other. Okay, so. These are the two little bowls. Or should I make more? Um, because I don't know how I'm gonna do the actual ice cream bones. Take um, um some to your jobs, yeah, what they say. Okay, so I can do them later. So right now, these are the two lobster cold lobster bowls. bowls. So I'm gonna add some more pepper jack cheese on it. To cover it up. You gotta be creative. Once you're creative, you can go anywhere. Like your mindset should just be worrying about what you can do, not worrying about what somebody else can do. Don't never get intimidated by a, sh a person who actually went to school for cooking. Don't get intimidated by them. Everybody can cook to me in their own way. Everybody you know, seasons their own way. Some people like bland food. Some people like well-seasoned food. I'm a person that wants well-seasoned food. I want my ears to ring, bang, play a tune. I want them to do all that. Okay, so this is the cheese that we're gonna put. And then at the end, we can put, you know, anything else on there. So what I always do is try to look for like little, little you know, little lots of little pieces to put on top. Okay, so this ain't little, but you know, you know what I mean. So that means I'm only to take this little one off, Sharice. I'm only to put this one on there. See how they look so far? So far, okay? So, yep. Go ahead and sprinkle this thing on there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven. Put it right in here. Mm -hmm. Where's the boy? My friend used all the boy. No. Okay. So we're gonna pour my iron skillet. See how that looks so far? Cute and yummy. See how cute that is? Nice and dainty. We have stuffed lobster waffle cones, okay? Presentation is on point. The cheese is not even melting yet, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven real quick. Now, my daughter's taco, so let's get her a plate. No, I don't. These two? Okay. So, let's talk about look all that cute now. Because the cheese is unloaded. Okay. So, you want your clothes open? Open. Okay. So, she wants hers open. And you still want the fresh stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, she wants... Some jalapenos on hers, and she wants tomatoes. I always take this out. I don't even like tomatoes like that. You don't have to turn the video over shit in my face. You don't have to. You don't have to. <sighs> OK. 
Okay. Just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit. <clears throat> they can watch me eat it for real. Girl, no. They can watch you eat yours. They can watch me eat it. <clears throat> watch me do it. Watch me do it. So that's, ooh, I might set her on fire. Oh well. Now, so that's a lot of taco. This is mine. Okay, so if you want to close it, this is how you close. Boom, boom. Mine is kind of stuffed, so this is how you do it. For those who don't know, boom, but you always side in the middle. And you just keep going. And it's wrapped. Booyah! So, with me, mm -hmm. I'm over here tapping my feet. Ooh. Dip it in that sauce she made. That's good, y'all. I promise y'all. I'm gonna try it yet. If I could do better, if I make it bang, I would say it like, damn, I could have did something different or this time I do something different, but nothing needs to be changed at all. Period, point blank. And with the stuff, waffle cones and stuff, it's just an idea. You don't have to use lobster or whatever. My favorite meat is lobster. Seafood, lobster. If they had a lobster cereal, I don't even know how to taste, but I'll probably try that too because it's a lobster. Ooh, them cones so pretty. Woo! Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, so go ahead and try some of this. So as you can see, See what I'm using? Go ahead and, ooh. Ooh. Let me see. It's, let me put that over. It's good. This right here, mm. with this, is good. It's good. I don't want another one. <laughs> and I feel like I actually did want one too. <clears throat> this right here is delicious. Because I know oh, it's lobster. That's why. It's good. Tiana and Kiana, I don't know where y'all at. Who's close by? Who's watching this and is close by? They would like to come try one. <clears throat> Baby. Banger. It's good. It's it. not even that spicy as you would think, but it does have a kick that is so good. It's good. Anybody say they close? Is there anybody close? My question, you got your phone? Mm -hmm. On you? Mm. Baby, y'all see that? It's good. This is good, okay? Mm. Mm. You're supposed to be a taste, the tasting test. You eating the whole thing. <laughs> Damn. And it got your, it got my nose running, but it's good. Oh, it's good. My daddy and auntie, if they was here, 
They would have loved it. I'm fucking with it. It's good. Now let's check on our little waffle minis. I know what I'm gonna have to run for today. Oh, whoa! Calm down, my queen. My son is. Oh. Y'all see how pretty that is? Y'all see how pretty that is? Yes, honey. Yes. Y'all see how pretty that is? But I'm not finished yet. So what we're gonna do? Well, it's out there. Oh damn. I should have sprayed it. So now I know, like I said, it's my first time making it. I should have sprayed it. But look at it. Look at these beauty woo tees. Look. Look at that. This is what I was looking for. My daughter's just dripping stuff all over the place. She don't want y'all to see her eating it, but red over here eating it. That's good. Tearing it up, tearing it down. For Joe Jones, Judy Brown, sign it off. Wubba wubba. Cute. Cute. Be ya. Be ya, be ya, be ya. Yes. Honey, think outside the box, baby. That's what you do. That's what I do. Think outside the box. I ain't worried about what somebody else cooking and. Mm -mm. I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about, I worry about Sharice and my kids. Period. Y'all see that? Go ahead and take a picture. Y'all know those things cute. Cute. All right, so that wraps it up with my tutorial on lobster tacos, lobster waffle cones. I still want to see if I can actually put it in an ice cream cone. Think I should think I should try? It ain't gonna take that long. I'm thinking that I can lay it on the taco stand. So we're gonna do it the same way. See, I didn't expect these cones to be so little like they are, but I am gonna make them work. So, ice cream cones, right? I'm gonna just use one. Ice cream cone, let me see if I can put it on this. May help me out, may not. So, I'll we'll have to do like this. So, it's being stuffed with pepper jack cheese. So, I have to really hunt for some big old waffle cones. So I'm stuffing it like this. My daughter feeding her face. Stuffing it like that. So now, hmm, that is the cream first. Yeah, this is not gonna be that big, y'all. It ain't gonna be that big. It's not. <clears throat> it's hanging off. No money, no cheese. Anyway, one pack of cheese went fast, but I know I got some more in there. My favorite cheese. I don't know. And when they go in the oven, just show it like this is how it's all up. It just be put in the oven for crisp. Yeah. I'll just take a picture when you don't want the video and put it on this one. Make sure y'all take a picture of that now with my iPad before the cheese melts, because you know it's all looking crazy when it's not fresh out.
I'm gonna have to hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> Don't know. Let me see. Oh man. It failed, you guys. But it's okay. See, you knowing me, when something goes wrong, I like to fix it. So, the way I'm going to fix it is, I'm going to find me some bigger cones to stuff this in and go from there. So, it's not a disaster, but the waffle cones to me are more cute. Bowls. Bowls, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and they're not messy like this would have been. But, I think a bigger cone would have sufficed, okay? So, the cones didn't work, but the waffle bowls did. So it's still a good creation, okay? Great value, waffle bowls, mini waffle bowls that I got out of Walmart. I believe they were like $2.34. So this will be real cute for a party, you know. And like I said, you don't have to put lots of meat. You can do macaroni and cheese with the meat. You can do anything. So I will be experimenting more stuff in these bowls. It's nice and simple. I used to actually make lots of mean steak bowls. Not because the steak bowls was a big bang in Miami also. So, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up. This is gonna be eight. Go ahead and the extras around. Extras around, but yeah. Thank you, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube world. This is the queen signing off. It's so, so good. See for the more where the food is always pouring deliciously delicious. Mm-hmm. Love you guys. Thank you. Subscribe. Queen of Food Porn. Peace.